Hey, welcome back. I've been getting some viewer suggestions to play some Halo CE mods, so today I thought we'd look at one. So thank you to the user Archon is the Wolf for suggesting this one. I hadn't really heard much about this before, and it was kind of a surprise to me when I booted it up, but it's a campaign that actually shows the perspective of the Flood during some of the earlier parts of Halo CE. I always remember wanting to play as different characters as a kid. When they added the ability to play as elites in Halo 2, that kind of blew open the doors on my imagination, and I was thinking of all the great characters that you could play as. There were a couple joke YouTube videos that I found back then supposedly telling you how to play as different characters in Halo. It made me really sad to find out that it wasn't actually possible. But hey, now with all the modding tools and everything, you can basically play as whoever you want. So I'm trying to get back into that mindset when playing this mod, thinking of the times when I wish that I could be a Flood, and just have some fun. So let's get into it. Ooh, the Flood. And I'm hoping this is a lot like 343 Guilty Spark. I'm pretty sure I've said before that's my favorite Halo level. Halo CE level. I guess we'll see. I was really curious what the HUD was going to be, and I think... I mean, we'll see if anything changes, but this looks like it's going to be about it. Which is interesting, playing a playing a Halo game where your HUD isn't, isn't super, super power armor. Q, Q. If you couldn't play as someone else in Halo 2, I don't think people would want this as much. I think just being able to play as the Arbiter and like Elites in Halo 2 was just so, it was so different. I mean, even now people are like really mad that you can't play as an Elite in, in uh, Halo Infinite, so. Which I totally understand. I think, uh, you know, when you have, when you, when the games before set such high expectations, it's kind of difficult to, to not keep that up. But yeah, this is exactly like, um, is it Assault on the Control Room? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. Some of these, some of the levels in Halo 2 kind of blend together little bit so i hope i said ce and not halo 2 there that's that would be embarrassing uh this is kind of interesting because the flood are like really f well let me let me put it like this they are an interesting enemy to fight they obviously you know get to be very like overwhelming and so to like play as them is weird because it kind of brings up a lot of feelings that i had in halo 2 when playing as the arbiter it's like fighting alongside the grunts is nowhere near as fun as like fighting them so this, I'm, I'm feeling kind of the same way where it's like why why aren't i just fighting the flood i do think that that perspective shift is probably way more important than just like which enemies and we're we, you know we get to fight the normal allotment of halo enemies so i cannot complain I mean, really, the, the weird thing is, is that technically the Flood and the UNSC are kind of on the same side. Because they both don't want the Halo rings to fire, so they are they have similar interests. And they kind of go into that in the later games, but... I love how when you get out of those things, it, it continues to spin once you've gotten out. There's so many things in Halo 1 that I feel like would be considered, like, bugs today, but I don't know, I just... Kind of like how the the Master Chief kind of runs in place, like his animation. His animation goes like way faster than I think it was ever supposed to. And I really wish there was a game from this time period with, well, I guess I should say an Xbox game. Because, I mean, there are games from this time that have like deep stories, but like not a lot of shooter games really cared about that kind of a thing. So it, it was really rare to find in the, in the early 2000s. Okay, it's exploding. Hello? Oh, that's going to do that thing. Looks like we're going to have to leave the ghost. I always thought the flood arm would have been like the coolest weapon. Like if you could pick it up and like use it. Obviously, this is probably better because you're actually playing as the flood. So, huh? You don't see a lot of blue fire in the campaign. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting like a Halo 2 enemy to just pop out of nowhere. Oh wow! He flew. He fell. Wasn't expecting. Yeah, just a. a Halo 2 enemy to just be in this campaign, so that was pretty cool though. I feel like Halo 2 did a good job of just bringing a lot of like bigger and better things to like their roster of enemies, so those were kind of no exception. They did they did a good job of like expanding it but not making some new enemy that, you know, would have been super annoying to fight and just I think I think Halo Wars was the first time I got like really into the very like different factions vehicles and stuff because in the first couple games there's like not suit like, there's not like that many vehicles but in Halo Wars you get I think you get to use like or at least fight like a lot of more vehicles and I know that a lot of them got like are now being like ported to Halo 
3 and stuff. That's really cool. I feel like it turns it more into like a mech assault. Like even like a Unreal Tournament kind of game where there's like a bunch of different vehicles. And I don't know. I don't know who has played the like vehicle game modes in Unreal Tournament 2004, but I feel like those are very underappreciated. I mean, this level is kind of, you know, like you reusing geometry from, you know, the main game, but I think it's doing it in kind of, you know, a nice subtle way where it's familiar, but you know, you, you get it from like a different perspective. I think just even for the first game, just having all these different factions was pretty awesome. I can't think of many other games where there's so many factions. I mean, what there's, so there's the humans, the Sentinels, and then the Covenant and the Flood. So that's like four. So just walking into an arena and getting to see like all of them kind of shoot each other. I feel like it was really cool because it's just, you know, you don't feel like it's just a hallway of zombies that you have to kill. It's, it's an organic battle that kind of unfolds as you go through the level. I'm unable to throw grenades because of my horribly disfigured arm. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, uh, it really sucks when someone uses your own gun against you. That's, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Okay, bye. I swear you could play as the Flood in Halo Wars, and that was like, to me, that was the ultimate Flood experience because the Flood is not just one entity, it's like a hive mind. So being able to control, like, all of the Flood, I feel like is the most accurate to what it what it would be like okay wow look at all this uh biomass stuff going on is he sleeping oh no he's a part of it oh that's not good hello is anyone in here oh sentinel oh other sentinels okay take them all out oh okay what is, what is happening? What the, why are there, whoa, 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 okay, okay. Um, how am I supposed to deal with all these guys? Why are they so small? I mean, this does kind of solve the problem of like, why, <laughs> why do the forerunners only have like one type of, one type of robot? Oh my God, I'm just running out of ammo. I think I'm totally out of ammo. Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. That didn't happen before. They didn't drop in on me like that before. Whoa, they are just a little hit scanners that don't stop shooting you. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my, it's the room is filled with them. What is going on? Is that, <laughs> what is happening? No, no more? Okay, that was crazy. They just all dropped down. You know, I love when the plasma pistol was actually worth something, you know, and didn't wasn't just worthless, but Halo 2 did that with a lot of weapons where, you know, it just took super useful weapons and just made them not that useful anymore. Oh, I'm supposed to go down here? Oh, wow. Parkour time. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Shooting some guys? Cool. I'm gonna go up here. I'm the main character, Flood. I have to, I have an appointment to make. <laughs> everyone shoot him. Everyone get him. Dang. He didn't stand a chance. He's gonna say, who's gonna be up here? Oh, Crash Pelican, wow. Huh. Okay, let's keep going, I guess. Hey, how's it going? Okay, um... I kind of just instantly died there. Don't know why. Don't know why. I just died. Let's go to the map room. See what's going on. Oh no, we're busting in. Yeah, get out of here, little, little ball. It's kind of. It's a little difficult to tell who's who in this kind of mess. Sure, that little sentinel. There you go. I mean, this Crash Pelican's really cool with all the, the Flood stuff on it. They wouldn't really get to this until, like, Halo 3. I don't know. I feel like if they weren't so under pressure of time, they probably could have, like, given us a lot more, like, infected UNSC vehicles and weapons and stuff. Did we do it? We're taking the we're taking the Flood Pelican out of here, boys. Let me just sit. <laughs> He's ready for action. Let's get out of here. To make like a tree and leaf. Yeah, so that was a pretty awesome little custom campaign there. I mean, that's like a lot of work. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, 
Thanks for watching.